All right, guys, we're back in the booth tonight. I wanted to thank our sponsor of the video, LureBuild.com. Jimmy has excellent blanks, eyes, stencils from Insane Custom Stencils. He has his own brand. Uh, so go check him out, LureBuild.com, for all your painting and lure supply needs. So let's get to it. All right, we are back at it tonight. Just got a lot going on with our group. Um, a lot of guys doing a lot of big things. Uh, I just took a break for about a week. I just kind of watched my other lure build compadres. Uh, watched a lot of Huey's Tackle. Watched a lot of Bad Boys Customs. They're putting out some fantastic stuff. Zach and Jonathan watching Jimmy do his thing on... Uh, Facebook Live, putting out great content. So there's a lot going on. They're really inspiring guys. So go check them out at Huey's Tackle and Bad Boy Customs on YouTube. Subscribe to their channel and give them some support. Um, one other thing I'm going to do before I get started, uh, I've got a new friend uh, who owns Kyle's Customs out of Kansas City. Kyle does a fantastic job. He sent me this lure here. Look at the finish on this thing. This thing is second to none. I got to give you a shout out, Kyle. These are amazing. So go check Kyle out on Facebook at Kyle's Customs KC Lures. Get with him, message him, get some of his baits. I mean, these things are outstanding. Check it out. Great job, Kyle. I appreciate you sending me that. Um, and just go check him out and order some of his baits. You won't go wrong. So go check Kyle out. So let's get busy. Um, all right, what we're going to do tonight, I'm going to do a wake bait. And it's going to be this bait right here. I'm going to do this in a armored crawl. I've never done that. I've been asked to do it just Sometimes you just got to wait until those creative juices are, are flowing, and I'm going to give it a whirl tonight. So what I've already done with this bait is I've painted it with um, silver sealer, and then I've put two coats of um, Autos Air Base Medium Aluminum 40, uh, 4012. And the reason I do that is if you look at this aluminum, I know it's probably hard to tell in the camera, but it is super reflective. And when you put a candy on this, whether you're doing a crawl, a shad, whatever, it just really just magnifies those candies. It makes it have depth. Um, so give that a try. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my tape crawls that I've already done. And we're gonna go ahead and stick it on here. I need to do a video showing y'all how I do it. And we'll get to that. I'm fixing to be off for about a week and I'm gonna start cranking it back up again. So we're gonna set this up a little bit so we can see this. And I'm just gonna lay it in here tight, run it down, and just make sure it sticks. And I'm gonna use my Sotar tonight. I haven't retired the 771. I've just gotten a little bit hooked on this Sotar. It has got such a soft action. It's just very easy to spray. So let's get the gun set up. Let's go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. And then what we're gonna do, just like usual when we're doing a tape crawl, just stay on your tape, barely come on up. And I'm gonna run it back. And then I'm gonna stop and just let it dry for a second. And I'm gonna get the famous wing ding out. I am gonna get with Jimmy on this. We are gonna try to collaborate on something to get something similar to this because it, this really is, if you're, if you're doing tape crawls, this little thing is just really amazing. I'm gonna try to leave it set up so you can see it. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test my paint over and I'm just gonna stay just on the edge of it. 
and it gives a fine detail because you really want this. This is going to be a little different because I'm not using the model stencil. I'm actually going to put rivets on this. Just make it thin. I want to have enough room to do it. So I'm probably only going to do three. And we'll leave it at that. And what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off so I can see it a little bit better. I'll try to do that in the camera so you can see it. And just slowly just peel it back. It gives it really clean detail. Really my favorite way to do crawls hands down is this. Once you get this technique down, it's, it's very, very nice. You'll turn out some very nice baits. Uh, and I am gonna, I, I've got a little stencil here from Russ Allen. I'm gonna do a few on the bottom here, like I did in the very first video I did. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get the gun set up. I gotta get the needle cleaned on this thing. Get it just the way I want it. And guys, I'm gonna give you another tip. I don't paint lures every night. There's a lot of nights I just come in here and, and I have some canvas boards. I just practice my dots, my lines, my kill dots, whatever I'm doing, crawl, I practice on the wing ding. You know, it's, it's not always about painting lures every night. You got to learn how to get airbrush control so that when you do some of the more detailed stuff, it just comes a little second nature to you. You're not even thinking about it. See how I'm gonna do this here. I utilize these sponges a lot, but it's gonna roll back on me. And you just take your time. I'm hitting them with my hand because I like to lay my hand in front of my airbrush. I'm just fine putting some dots in here. And this just comes, I'm gonna be honest with you, it just comes with practice with your airbrush. Just practice with your airbrush. It's not hard. It's just a matter of just putting a little time in with your brush, getting to you know know what it is what size needle you got, and what the gun's gonna do. I use my left hand just to steady me, and that helps. And I probably cleaned this gun. This this gun really does a great job with not getting dry tip. I'm just I, I'm I, I have such a habit of dipping the gun that I, a lot of times I do it when I don't even need to. I love doing stuff like this, I really do. The crawls are my favorite thing to do. And I've gotten so I really like doing the armor. It's just different. Just kind of test your skills a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna get me a toothpick out. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. I, I've actually got another way where I can actually do the rivets. Not doing it this way. I'm talking about actual rivets off of like a pocket graphics, which I'm gonna do a video on that soon, especially when I go on vacation. I've got some lined up that I'm gonna that I'm gonna turn out that I hope will help everybody. Um just fun little projects you can do. Um just to kind of stretch your game a little bit. 
And like I said at the beginning of the video, go check out Jimmy doing his live. Go check out Zach at Huey's Tackle. Go check Jonathan out at Bad Boy Customs on their YouTube channels. Those guys, I mean, they're putting out some sick stuff. And I mean, I, I really love watching them. Uh, they really inspire me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dip the, the toothpick in the, the white. And I'm just going to touch it. And usually I'll do two before I dip it again. You just want to make sure that you're not double dipping on it. And this is a little bait. The armor is a lot easier to do on a larger bait, but I wanted to play with this just for fun tonight. And I'm not, I'm not a pro at this. I just have fun, just like all of y'all. I'm just an average painter. I just have a lot of fun doing it. I, I don't put a lot of pressure on myself. I just come out and, and just have fun. I don't. I, I think that's one of my best things about this painting is my creativity i just i just have fun with it and that's what you got to do you can't you can't put pressure i know some of you guys are selling baits and i sold baits for years and i know what that pressure is and having deadlines and trying to get those baits to people on time um i can honestly say i, I don't miss that i sell now but i sell kind of um when I get a group of baits together that I want to get rid of and sell and somebody wants them, that's great. Oh, uh, but you know, you got to learn. You, I, I just don't want this to turn into a job because it's not my job. I, I do a full-time job somewhere else. This is my hobby and I really have a passion for it. And, um, just watching our group on the lure channel is just fantastic. The guys are just really good on there. They have a great attitude. They help everybody, and really that's what it's all about. So that's what you get right there. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick and get it done, and then we'll do the top, because I'm gonna try to do the top just a little different. So I'm gonna set this in. We're doing this upside down, which I've gotten pretty good at upside down with this. So we're gonna get that in there. And like I said, with the tape, you can sell, I, I've used this same tape for these size lures for such a long time, especially when you get one that's a really good pattern for you. You don't want to, um, you don't want to throw that out because it, it is, it's, it's time consuming when you're in here and you may not have a lot of time to paint like me. And if you're having to get the craft board out and the tape out and you're having to cut patterns out constantly. It's going to be, it's going to be some work, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. I do love to go in and cut new stuff out periodically. You know, some of the stuff I do, I really like some of it, you know, I, I get tired of which you will get tired of it because you're going to, you're going to want to do new stuff. And, uh, but, but it's one way to save you some time while you're painting to just let you turn some more baits out and just have a little bit of fun painting. Cause like I said, the other stuff, it, it does, it gets stressful after a while. Especially if you're doing this and you're trying to, you're selling, um, it can turn into a big deal. And believe you me, I know how that is. And this on down we'll go ahead and set this side up i need to bring it back up a little higher i didn't bring it quite up enough i don't edit videos uh, that's that's one thing i've just i'm not a i'm not a, a social media or whatever type person i'm a i'm a pretty boring guy i just uh i don't do it so you get it like i do it so if i screw it up we just gonna get the screw up because to be honest with you it happens all the time this is this is this is painting you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes so don't 
don't get upset about that. Um, you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes, and it's just it's just the way it is. It is just the way it is. Just have fun with it. Don't put pressure on yourself because that's just you know that's that's not what I do this for. I I do it to relax. I do it to have fun. I've met a lot of good people, a lot. And that's really what I like. I mean, you know, I'm tickled to death that these guys can sell on here and make, make money doing this, what they love doing. But I just don't want it to be a, in my case, I don't want it to be a, a full-time job. Like I said, just take your time. Start practicing a little bit. Maybe take a, I usually take at least two nights a week and I'll just come over, put my headphones on, listen to music and do dots, do lines, get used to my airbrush. I, I think that's really what changed my, my skill set was just changing a little bit of you know, my routine and what I was doing because you gotta, you gotta get used to the equipment you got. You can't just keep slinging paint on, on lures and, and expect to, I mean, I think you can get good doing that, but I'm talking about the detail of it. It hadn't got to be perfect. I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not worried that every dot is dead in line. That's just not what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just having some fun with it. It's going to be, um, you know, it's, it's my, it's my style. So that's the other thing. Everybody's got a different style in this painting. You got some guys on here that are just off the charts and, and, and they are just great with an airbrush. But the fact of the matter is, anybody can do it. Anybody. Anybody can do this. I have no art background. The reason I even got into this was, it was got in, I, I got into it by accident. I started doing striper spoons and ended up with a airbrush by accident. That was never the intention. I think it sat in my house for about, about two months before I ever picked it up. But then once I picked it up, I never went back. This is very addictive. It is the rabbit hole of rabbit holes. But it is one fun hobby. It really is. And it's fun to be part of our group, just to just to look at the talent that's in there, man. It's just, I can't even, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to spotlight a few different people every week. I'd forget half the people because I'm terrible with names. You know, I just talked to Steven Iskey last night and was talking to him about some swim baits. He was showing me some, some of his cool artwork that he did. And he, he's just, I mean, I'm not in their league, man. They're just putting out stuff that's just really crazy. I mean, crazy cool. And that's really what's fun about this whole thing. It's who you meet, man. It's, you meet a lot of good people. So let's go ahead and take this off. And we're gonna run it down. It's gonna have a neat look. I've never done one, so it's gonna be something new. And I'll try it on something else later. I think I am gonna put a little bit of this, I call it Doris fabric. Everybody calls it something else, so. I'll tell you what, we may, we may do this top a little different. We may put a few panels on this top just for fun. 
Let me get it on down. And if you've never seen my videos on this, um, I've got a few other videos with this on it. Uh, this is a, a very cool technique. It's been around for a while. Let me get a skinnier piece. I'm not worried about it being straight. I really am not. I could care less about that. I want it to look different. So we'll just put those three on it just for now. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of that metal grate on it after we're done. So what I'm gonna do, if you've never seen this before, what I usually do is I may, if I put it in one, two, three, I go in reverse. So we're gonna start in the back and I'm hoping you can see this. I'm gonna really try to do a better job with this camera. So all I'm doing is pretty much the same thing we did with the crawl thing. We're just gonna, we're just gonna hit the outside edge. hit the outside edge and I always keep a razor blade in here because I'm always doing something with tape and the good thing is if you've I usually overlap the tape onto another piece so you can go to that where you're not scraping up your paint and you can just take it off and you see it leaves a pretty much a perfect panel so it's going to have a little bit of both worlds it's going to have a crawl and it's going to have the panels so now what we'll do we'll just make sure the gun is going to spray right and we'll do the same thing. We're just gonna go on the outside edge very lightly. And this is where the practicing you do besides paint lures is gonna come into play because it's gonna teach you to take that airbrush and spray a fine line with it. And that's what I, I do. I, I really do love it about this gun. Not that my Creos can't do it. This gun has just got such a soft trigger on it. it I just absolutely love it. So we're gonna take that on off and that gives that panel. So we're gonna do this one. Then we'll put a few rivets in it. I will take a little bit of the, I gotta go over there and get it cause I didn't bring it out. I wasn't gonna do a video tonight and I'm gonna be honest with you. I saw a lure that Jonathan Wampler did tonight, a psycho crawl. You definitely need to go check that out tonight. If you don't do anything else, go check that lure out. That thing was just off the charts cool. He did a fantastic job. And, you know, that's that's just being creative. You know, he he's really come a long way. He's a great guy. You need to go check him out. Check his YouTube channel out and support him. Subscribe to his channel. That's something else I wanted to say. I just hit 600 subscribers and I just really wanted to thank everybody. It's um, It's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun. I never really thought that I'd be doing this, but it really has. It's, it's really, really been fun. All right, so you see the panels on there. That's really how I do an armor bait and it's really a cool effect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just get our get our own. Oh, come on, get our rivets on here. I'm not going to put a lot on here. But it really is fun looking at the, looking at the different styles that everybody's got, man. It's just it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun just watching them. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this bottom while we're at it so I can get this black paint out of my gun. And all this is, is a, it's a, it's a, uh, a crawl, part of a crawl wheel, just the bottom of a, of the crawls. And I just stick it on the bottom. Really no, just say that you're, they're lined up somewhat. They don't have to be perfect. I gotta open my gun up a little bit. There we go. Um, it just gives it some added effect. We may put some some rivets around this too. Just have some fun with it. Just leaves a line. We'll do one more. Okay. Let's see if we can get one right here. And I think we'll leave that alone. Kind of gives it a cool look. We'll go ahead and put our white on this. I'm going to go ahead and clean the gun out so it doesn't sit on there. And all I do with that is I have this bottle that I use. I just put, I put a, a cooking cup in the microwave for about three minutes and it gets pretty hot. And, uh, and I just clean it out, you know. I don't, I don't mix my colors. And some people do and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just not my thing. And, you know, there's... You know, and if that's what you do, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I just don't do it. So that's just personal preference with what you're doing. It's no big deal. I just, I think a lot of people think that blends color. I don't necessarily think that, but I mean, that's my opinion. So we're going to get our white back out and get these done. This is gonna be a little harder. I, I don't usually do it like this. I'm trying to get it where you can see it. I guarantee my hands in the way. But it's neat. It's a fun, a fun little project to do. I gotta get a little more on that. I haven't been dipping it enough. Uh, and then I'll take a candy. I haven't decided. Let me take this thing off of here. I don't like that. It's gonna slam. Get that off. I just have better control when I got it down here. Okay. And that's what it looks like. Kind of cool, just a little off, a little different. Let it dry. It sits kind of flat. That bait was actually gotten at Lure Build. That's something else you need to go check Jimmy out. He's constantly getting new products in, eyes, blanks, stencils. He deals with Russ. I mean, just go check him out. He's constantly got something going on, getting new stuff. He's, he's very hungry. He's a great guy, great painter. So go check him out. So we're gonna go ahead and set that down. And I will put it back in here for the candy so you can see that. This bait's a little bit different. It goes through the, the, it goes sideways on the back, so I'm gonna have to turn it a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry just for a second. I've cleaned my gun out. I'm gonna decide what candy I'm gonna use. The last couple videos, I have used a House of Color solvent-based candy. When I did a Diablo crawl, that was really a vibrant color, and I did, 
the orange pumpkin seed with some house of color. So, you know, the solvent base, you got to be a little more careful with. But I'll, I will tell you this, those candies are just off the charts nice. Very cool. I think what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to do this one in green because I've got some green eyes I want to use. And I'm going to mix that up. And what I do with that, I, I take my UVLS. I had a lot of questions about that today. It's a, an acrylic polyurethane. It's really an ultimate color protection uh, product. It, it actually will lock your, uh, lock your colors in. I use it on everything. Um, with, they also make a bleed checker, and I do use that periodically if I'm using a lot. See, a lot of times on these little baits, I'm not using much candy at all. I always mix way too much. I mean, really all you need is a, a few drops, and, and that is it. It doesn't take much. And and I will put some um, 4011 in that. That is the reducer that I choose. It actually kind of, well, I think it replaced the 4012, which they still have it. But and some people still use that. And if that's what you use, that's fine. 4011 is my reducer of choice, my preference. And that's just my opinion. So... The candy we're gonna to use tonight is the Poison Green. I, I probably use the Poison Green and the Care more than any of them. I just like them. I think they're just cool looking. I like green where I live, green catches bass. And like I said, I'm not, I'm really not selling. I'm gonna start selling a little bit here and there because I've built up such a, uh, an inventory. I, I'm gonna to have to get rid of some of them. Oh. Uh, and I am going to start selling some. But I'll put that on Facebook. I'm, I'm going to tr probably run some of them through Lure Build. And, and I'll let everybody know if you're, you're even interested in getting some of my baits. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, the only thing different is I'm not going to put the candy around the edge because I don't want to cover up the rivets. So I'm going to run it in the middle. My green, I'm gonna put it around the eye. I'm gonna run it in the middle, just between it a little bit. I know it's probably hard to see. I've got to get this camera angle where it's more to my side, I guess. I'll tell you what I didn't do. I didn't put my, hang on just a second. I didn't goofed up here a minute. Hang on just a second. Just like I said, when I goof, you're gonna see it, and I goofed. I've gotta put my um, grate panel on top of this. And the one, my, my stencil of choice on this is actually the diamond stencil from Jeff at Whitmore Farm. I absolutely love this stencil. It is just a perfect for what I'm doing, what I'm trying to accomplish. So we're gonna load a little bit of black back in the gun, in my other gun. We'll just go ahead and get it out. I'm not gonna need but a couple drops. Doesn't take much. Well, that's something else you need to learn. You, you can waste a lot of paint, a lot of paint. And I do. I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I waste some paint. I gotta be careful. So what I'm gonna do on this top is I'm gonna lock it down. And then I'm just gonna go where I don't have the panel. Wherever there's no, no rivets, I'm putting, I'm putting the panel. And that just gives it a kind of a three-dimensional look. It, it really makes it cool looking. So if you haven't tried this technique at home, you need to you need to go check Jeff out and and get one of these stencils if you if you like doing the rivets, you know. And I'm gonna put a little bit around this face to give it a kind of a I didn't do a good job on that. 
That's better. If you like doing the, the rivets, definitely go check Jeff out. It definitely gives the, the metal look a, a really cool. It gives it a neat look. Really cool. Just something fun to do. Will it catch fish? Yeah, it'll catch fish. I'll show y'all when I'm on vacation. I'm going to take it out and catch them. I'm going to put a little bit down here on the bottom just for some detail. Just to give it a little bit. Because these back ends on these this type weight bait, it's a nice one. It was actually a <laughs> kind of a holographic one. I kind of wasted that by doing what I did, but I just wanted to do it on this bait. Okay. So now that you saw, well, let's see. We could, I'll, I'll leave that clean. I won't, a lot of times I like to put something here. And I tell you what, maybe we could put a little bit of model on that just to give it kind of both worlds, the live crawl and the, and the metal. We'll do that. We'll put just a little bit right in here. Yeah, that's neat. Just a little bit. We'll try to get it on this because it didn't go all the way down. Okay. So we'll slide that over. Go ahead and lay it on top here. And see, another, like I said, I've, I know I've said this tip before, but if you keep your stencil clean, you can see exactly where you're spraying. And believe you me, that makes it a lot easier. Makes it a whole lot easier. All right, yeah, that really looks cool. I'll let y'all look that. I'll check it out. I'll take it out and let you see it. Let me clean the gun. We'll let it dry. Just a quick project. A lot of fun. I've never done it, so it's a first here on Clark Hill Custom Painting. So it's always fun to do something you haven't done. If I don't keep knocking the camera off with my big head. Like I said, there's a lot, a lot going on in our little group. A lot of, a lot of great paint jobs. A lot of, a lot of neat stuff to see. That always makes it fun. It makes it inspiring. That's what it's for. It's not to be hidden and not tell somebody how to do something. You got to have fun and you got to bring people along because all of us had help at one time. And believe you me, I had plenty of help. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish doing, I'm oh, that's too high. We're gonna finish hitting this in with the green. And I'm gonna put a little bit down here on the bottom. I'm gonna leave the bottom silver. Put a little bit on that in the eye. You can see where it kind of darkens it up. We will, now the top we will run on the outside because that's the way I always do my panels. It's not like doing the crawl show. I don't have a lot of room there. Put a little bit in the middle to kind of make it look weathered. Put a little bit on this face. Well, the good thing about it is the um, the silver just makes the candy jump. We may have to put a few coats on this. We'll put a little bit on each line just to give it some color besides black. And we'll cover that up. We're going to let that dry and get one more coat on it. It's just a light green. We'll let it dry. A 
let it dry and we'll get a little bit more on that i'm gonna take i'm gonna dry it off with my gun i don't like to heat set candy some people do and that's great i'm just not that guy so if that's what you choose to do with candy then that's great i just don't i'll dry it with the cool air then i don't get the cracking now i will i will dry um Autoborn sealer. I will dry that with a heat gun, but the candy I don't do that with. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it out and let you see it. Just remember, we did the metal grate and the regular panels on top. We did the shell on the side. We did the regular crawl model to make it look like a crawl on both sides to kind of give it best of both worlds. We're gonna put the eyes on it. And I'm not gonna epoxy this on tape tonight. This film's already been long enough. I hope everybody has enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun doing it. Again, I just wanna thank everybody for the support they give me on the channel. It has been just outstanding. We're at six, we just hit 600 subscribers today. That's really far exceeds anything I thought that we would do. Let me get that eye up. Oh, come on. That's what happens when you don't get it set where you want it. I want a self adhesive eye. I want to try to get it in the middle. Okay, that's better. But that's a perfect eye for the color that I used. And I actually got these eyes, I think from Lure Parts Online. They're just a solid eye, a fluorescent green eye, but it fits this bait to a T. Let me take this tape off. And on, on the crawls, you can take, you can paint the bill. I've done both. I like to do both. This one I just chose not to because it was going to have the arm. I'd rather have it clear. So here's what it looks like with the green eyes. Kind of a cool bait. Didn't take long to do it. If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Please hit the like button, subscribe. And like I said, I'll catch you next time, okay? Thanks.